Obviously, Connor's the money fight, but I was wondering who in the division would you like to fight? Because obviously, there's Connor, there's Tony, but is there anyone else you have that you'd like to get in the cage with? You know, uh, like if you watch Connor four fights, he have two and two, and last two years he didn't fight. He didn't deserve title shot. Of course, we know it's money fight, and UFC love this. And uh, about who deserve, I think. Um, if you talk about Kevin Lee, he tapped 10 months ago. He don't deserve the title shot. If you talk about Tony Ferguson, when I have injured last time, UFC told me, hey, you have to deserve next title shot. And they give me tough opponent, I fight and come back, fight for the title and win title, right? Tony Ferguson injured, please come back and fight one more fight. What happened? It's rules for everybody, not only for me. And uh, if you talk about uh, Eddie Alvarez and Pari, I think winner. Winner Eddie Alvarez Parade deserve title shot without Connor. But we know it's UFC make decision, you know. But Thank you. No a, anyways, like if they give me like winner uh Parie, Alvarez or other guys, doesn't matter. I'm gonna fight. You know, I'm here. No, I I, ne I never take opponent, I never think about this. You know, when they call me, I told these guys when I have to fight, give me eight weeks, ten nine weeks and I will be there. Are you fighting Luke Rockhold on November 3rd? That's the plan. You know, I signed my battle agreement and um, I'm ready to go. So Luke Rockhold, it's a good good matchup. You know, I got redemption on my first loss ever. And uh, also at MSG where I've had my, where I've had my, uh, where I had my second loss against Yule. So it would be redemption on both those, on, in both those angles. So. I think it would be a great fight. Was this a, a fight that you pushed for, or did they present you with this idea of fighting Rockhold now? No, it was that was presented to me. And you liked it? I and, and supposedly, you know, they were actually talking to Luke about it way before they were talking to me about it. Hmm. Um, when I seen Luke in Vegas, he had mentioned, you know, they're trying to get us to fight. I was like, really? I didn't know that? Um, I thought you were going. To, I thought he was going to 205, so I had no idea. But. Um, it makes sense for me, and I, I like that fight. I want to redeem myself on that one and go out there and perform better than I did the last time. And, and uh, it's a good fight for me. So, So here's the thing. Yes, you know, Poirier could make the argument that he's a dirty fighter because they had two fights, and in both fights there were, there were illegal strikes thrown. First fight, there was two illegal knees. Second fight, obviously the 12-6 to 6 elbow. So you can see why Dustin would say such a thing. Now, going back to the first fight, illegal knees. Excuse me, I drank too much. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, pardon me. Um, <laughs> I need to burp so bad. Still it, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got it up. Um, first fight, illegal knees. I famously need a downed opponent in Jorge Rivera but a long time ago. UFC, I don't know, 127 or something. Um, when you're in the heat of the moment and you've taken a few shots and you wobbled and you rocked and the adrenaline is spiking and you're in front of 20,000 people and you're fighting your fucking heart out and your opponent's on the floor and he's getting back up and you you just you're in a you're in a fight you you you've channeled that inner animal inside you you know what i'm saying and you just let shit fly you know and that's why there's a referee there now he threw those knees and they were illegal i don't know if they were intentional or not he was doing well I don't think you're going to purposely try and get disqualified. So I think that was an accident. And then in the fight on Saturday night, when he threw the 12 to 6 elbow, again, he found himself in a position where he was trying to get a guillotine. He ended up on top, and there wasn't a lot of situations open to him. And he was just trying to get creative and look for a way to to strike him. You know, mm. there wasn't enough power. You know, to like do a little rabbit punch at the side of the head that wouldn't have done anything. So he was thinking, and he did that. Of course, it slipped his mind that that was illegal. That's why there's a referee there, though. Yeah. You know, so I don't think he's necessarily a dirty fighter. I think it just 
I don't think he was purposely trying to cheat or throw an illegal move because if you purposely throw an illegal move when you know it's an illegal and there's a referee literally a foot away staring at you, waiting for you to do something illegal, it's a stupid move. Yeah, and I think look, he was just in the moment. He was just carried away and he was trying to fight and trying to do damage. He didn't realize it was illegal at that moment in time. You know, so that's why there's referees there and it was unfortunate, but it is what it is. How are you feeling? There's a lot of concern about your health. Could you tell us how you're feeling right now? Yeah, so, you know, the updates uh, is I've seen multiple doctors and experts, but, you know, they, they haven't uh, been able to give us any answers about what happened, you know. one. But there's one thing they know right now, and that's um, that uh, I'm okay, you know. I'm okay. I'm going to fight again, but that's all we know. You know, as of right now, I'm good. You saw me, Ariel. I, I grew up in front of you guys' eyes. I grew up in front of everyone's eyes here in the UFC, you know. It's, this wasn't a weight cut. You got, I made weight 20 plus times, you know, and uh, I had I, you guys been there to the hard weight cuts, to the easy ones, to the hard training camps. You guys been there to everything, you know. This this wasn't it. This wasn't a weight cut thing, you know. It, it was it was weird. I don't know how to explain it. Just a uh, just a weird week, you know. Monday, uh, yeah, like I said, got called to go into the ER. Uh, Tuesday, we tried to work out, feeling funny. Uh, Wednesday. I think so. It was Wednesday we worked out with uh, DC. I think so. DC then DC told me come by and we went to work out uh, after him. We used the tough gym after him, and you know I, I was I was messed up there. There's a bunch of interviews that the UFC didn't even drop because uh, I was horrible in them. So yeah, I, I, I it's very unexplainable. It's a real week. It's a wild week, and uh, I'm glad I can get past it now. And, and I saw on, on social media that you've gone to see some doctors. Could you tell us wh where you've gone thus far? I think you were in Vegas, correct? Yeah, we went to Vegas. So when I was up in the ER, we, we saw some specialists. Usually saw some specialists. And then uh, when I went to Vegas, I went to a neurological specialist, uh, a doctor, the UFC doctor, Dr. D, uh, recommended. And uh, when, we went to, when we went to that guy, uh, all the tests uh, was great. You know, he was like, man, he was like, yeah, we, like, Pretty much what I've been saying, you know, they don't have a smoking gun. They can't really put their finger on it. But, you know, as of right now, I'm good. So, you know, when you hear those kind of things, it's great, but yet scary, you know. You want to find out what's wrong. You want to know what's wrong. And, uh, you know, it's crazy that we just don't have the answer. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just glad I'm healthy. I'm okay. And, uh, you know, we just wait for the news. Are you awaiting uh, more results at this time? Yeah, we got a couple more tests. I believe we got a couple more tests. I, I got to reach out to uh, to UFC docs and get get some more stuff uh, figured out. But yeah, we got a couple more tests uh, left, and uh, should be great though. Everything looking good. Everything okay. coming back great. And uh, I I I just I just can't wait. You know, it, it's the greatest news when they call you up and they tell you, look, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this. You know, it's the greatest news. But then in the back of your mind, it's like, then what is it? Right. You know, not, you know, it, it, it's hard, you know, it's a hard time, it's a hard point right now, and I just got, I felt so bad for the fans, you know, they kept, they kept asking me, what is the update, what is the update, you know, I, it, it, it's hard to give an update, you know, I, I wish I had an update, you know, I, I wish I had an update to tell my mom, my dad, my friends, my family, everyone, you know, but, and they, that's the update, you know, they said I'm okay, I'm fine right now, and uh, they can't find anything.